Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm going to show how to make a an auto watering system using a, a plastic container from Dollar Tree and the bottle caps on four water bottles. Basically going to drill a center hole that's a quarter inch into the lid and hot glue the four bottle caps um, around the edge to create an offset. So when we fill the solution, empty it or set it upside down into a tray, it'll empty out until the level hits the bottom of the lid where the hole is. And that way you can maintain a quarter inch depth solution without, um, you know, just when it gets low, you can take it out, add more solution, set it back. So let's go ahead and show how we set this up. Okay, first thing you wanna do I'm just going to go ahead and do some straight lines so I can have a good spot for my um, for the bottle caps. It's close enough. So we're going to put our caps on the ends here. First, I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole. I'm just using a quarter inch bit, drill bit. And one thing that I'd pop these on. Basically, I'm going to glue, this will be a glue surface, and that's a glue surface, so they're going to go on there like this. One thing that I do is scratch the glue surfaces, and that gives the uh, hot glue a little something to adhere to. Makes it stay on better. Let's do these as well. Glue gun is ready. That's pretty much it. Okay, so um, these are already on here really good, really well. So this will just sit like that in the tray. Actually, if I can reach it. I'm going to have a tray here. Okay, so the plants can go, I've got these little square containers. Um, I don't know how big they are. They fit in here. Just right. So I could do five of these and one of these or four of these, two of these. You can also get these in four liter size or two liter size. When I, I went by there today to get more, they only had the three liter, but the lids are interchangeable. So if you find four liters, you know, I've actually got one or two more in the basement. But so yeah, so this is the uh, like you know, little sprouting tray plants, and the containers have holes in the bottom, so you can. So basically, what you put like what I, what I use is cocoa core, so I just pack some down in here, and then maybe the 
next two thirds up maybe cocoa mixed with perlite and you plant and so I pre-fill this just a little bit so you don't use all of your stuff right away uh, fill the container put your finger on the hole as you're setting it down and then let it go and it won't it'll only fill up to the bottom of the lid so it'll maintain that quarter inch depth solution plus you're going to have some pre-filled in the um, in the grooves here too so if the roots come out they'll be able to wick, wick that up too all right so that's pretty much it so um so i'll show you that in action here in just a moment okay just want to give a just a quick demonstration before i pick these up just to show the you know the physics of how this works so um so your plants will go and, and i also use um half gallon grow bags but i just found these at the grocery store i like how they how they look and so i got a few of them as well so anyway i've got this has just got water in it just to demonstrate and one thing that i've noticed it helps if you um in the initial setup if you pour some in just to kind of fill the grooves and whatnot kind of pre-fill that a little bit I probably didn't need to put that much, but um, so what I do is just kind of cover this up initially, turn it upside down, and there's already enough in there, so none none is coming out since I pre-filled it. But if um, as the nutrient level drops, it'll you'll see it just kind of bubble up, and some more will release down in here. So that's that's it, and you could even put like two of these if you want, or get the four liter type and last a little bit longer. So yeah, so that's how that works. So, okay, I'm going to show how I set these up. Basically, I start with it could be a grow bag or one of these, but just put some plain cocoa down to the bottom. This is kind of the, the main wicking bed. Push that down a little bit. Then I'm going to use um, some that's got perlite. That's going to fill the rest. Leave a little spot for my roots here. So I've got um, this Reaper Moruga Cross F4. Came straight out of the air garden. I'm just gonna it's kind of hard to tripod's kind of in the way here. Okay, so. And I just took the same cocoa, just mixed a little bit of perlite with it after I pre moistened it. That's pretty much it. And then what I'll do is, um, if you're doing this in your kitchen sink, use a little thing to catch the stuff. You don't want all this flushing down in your sink. But um, I'll just water it really well. And this kind of... Um, preps it for the uh, wicking action but it also I mean this cocoa I'm using doesn't seem bad anyway but some cocoa a lot of times will have some salts in it so it's just a good practice to 
rinse it out and this will kind of flush out any excess salt that might be in there and just let that kind of run through for a little bit that's pretty much it now it's ready to go in the tray okay so i've got several of these set up already looks like it can fit about seven to a tray so i've got a few more i can add to this one and i when i originally filmed this um i said to use a quarter inch hole and that would work for a very rigid container like a hard plastic or a glass container but with these ones from Dollar Tree, they're a little bit, a little have a little bit of a give in them. I found that a half inch hole works better, and it's still small enough that you can plug with your finger when you're moving it. But the um, solution flows out better, so just make note of that. I'll keep you updated on how these work out, and hopefully they'll do well. Um, if I have any issues, I'll have to pivot and try something different but I think this will work. Uh, one thing that may be an issue is algae and these but I'm hoping that they will consume fast enough that when I change it out I can just you know wash it a new solution in. Uh, there shouldn't be a lot of room for it to get in there in between because they're so tight in there. I could light proof these and put a strip but these are uh, easier to see open like this. But I'll keep an eye on it and make adjustments as needed. Okay, I want to give an update on these plants. I've been running these three trays for a few weeks. Uh, I'm getting ready to add a few more. Switch these LEDs off so you can see how they look. Okay, um, yeah, so far I'm pretty pleased with how these are doing. This is my, um, Blue Christmas crossed with Stavros. And this, uh, I believe it's a Shishito. That's a Bidjalokia back here. A few of them were um, having issues. And like this guy was kind of yellow, but he's greening up and putting out new growth. Same with that one. It's a white boot. Some are having some leaf issues, but the new growth is looking very good. Um, this is a blue Christmas color on that. looks great. I can pronounce it's a C. chacoense. It's a caps wild capsicum. It's really a viney type plant, but it's, it's looking fine. I think this is, yeah, this is a Chiltepin yellow. So growth is very nice on these. Um, the plants are consuming the water just fine, or the nutrient solution. I just added some yesterday. Uh, probably had to rearrange a little bit and put bigger plants with bigger plants so they're not blocking light from some of the smaller ones. So I'll probably do a little bit of swapping around with some of these. So overall I think it works great. Matt Garver did some testing with this kind of setup and got some mixed results. I think, um, and I've noticed a little bit with these, uh, overall I'm confident enough to keep using them, but I think um, based on what I've seen, these containers aren't the best to use for this type setup, just because they have a little bit of a give, so that kind of messes with the vacuum brake on the release. Um, so you're not going to get an extremely precise release, but... Um, it seems like the bigger plants are more forgiving and seem to adapt easier. Um, they're not coming out any more than the bottom of the lids. I mean, these are actually working just as I expect them to. But I think if you wanted something more precise, you need like a like a thick plastic rigged uh, carboy type container. Like you see the water fountains have. Um, either that or glass bottle. And then you can get by using a smaller hole as well but for this purpose i think these are these are fine I'm, I'm confident enough in this setup that i'm gonna put the rest of most i'm gonna do most of my other plants this way so I'll probably set up another tray tonight 
you know, got enough big plants ready to go. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to share that. Um, I'll keep posting updates on the progress with my grow updates. So follow those and you can see how they're doing. Um, these lights seem to be doing fine. These are 300 watt LED. They're actually like actual usage draw is like 120, 130 watts on these. But it seemed to like these fairly well. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for, for watching. Hope you liked that. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.